Okay, looks like it's gone. I can help you with the email. I appreciate that. Sally, you can help me distribute on one side. Well, I tell you what. Let's just go down the center and you can hand out on one side. You're about to receive um, some hand chimes that we discovered in the back of Davies. And um, all together, you're going to be making a, a beautiful chord that uh, Kyrie came up with this morning. And um, you'll be singing along, of course, with this, this stamp, which is in the uh, program. So, my best advice would be if you partner up with somebody, one person should hold the music, and somebody who doesn't like to sing should have the bell. If you have the bell, you have a very simple job. You just have to ring when the words are bold. Okay? Um, because I'm a teacher, I wrote this like a lesson. The beginning it says, examine the sheet music below. That's the melody that we're going to be singing. In between the stanzas, sing verse 1 and verse 2 alternately while bringing the words. For example, flowers, power, long, and strong. And because this is like a firework, we're going to light it once and it'll never happen again. <laughs> we're just going to practice ringing together on the same note. Even though you'll have different jokes. So, um, does everybody have a bell in hand and a mallet? Raise your hand if you don't have a mallet. A mallet? Oh, sorry. Alright, so I imagine the best way to practice this would be for if I uh, rang or sang rather the, uh, the chorus that you'll be ringing with through. Um, so, when you. When you hear me get the flowers, power is long and strong. I just want to hear you ring. You should make some amazing chord. Okay? Um, and you don't have to do this part. I can call it. Um, spring has now unwrapped the flowers. Oh, <laughs> spring has now unwrapped the begin singing. Of course, you just have to uh, sing along on the chorus and ring when the words are bold. And I'll be moving around. Um, so, let's give this uh, unnamed hymn a shot. Oh. 